I'm back. Just kidding. Anyway, I was just sitting down thinking after posting my last video, and uh, something hit me about MMOs, and I uh, thought I would get this down while I've got it on my mind, and that is uh, from my uh, my start in playing uh, MMOs with Star Wars Galaxies back in 2003 up until now. I've seen one big argument between uh, those of us that subscribe to them and play them and those that develop them. And that is, uh, often I hear uh, the fault or problems in, uh, in uh, these multiplayer online games is that, uh, you know, the players often fault the developers for any changes that happen. So, you know, anything that happens, if the game fails or a bad mechanic is introduced, it's always the developer's fault, right? Wrong. It's not always the case. So, in true batty fashion, I would like to educate some of you. Um, see, here's the thing. These people, the developers that make these games, all they're doing is a job. They're getting paid to make a game, hopefully one that they love, so that, you know, we get a lot of enjoyment out of it, but there's also this other entire side to MMOs, even World of Warcraft, and that is, well, I'll just call them the suits. These are your producers, the marketing people, anybody working behind the scenes that's actually charting out the course of the game. Essentially what this comes down to is other people are making business decisions about the game that you're playing. And this is really what's controlling where things go, at least in my opinion and from what I've seen. And basically what you'll end up getting is, you know, a developer, who, well, scratch all that. Basically, let me boil it down like this. One developer from Star Wars Galaxy said it best a while ago. And that is, essentially my job is the plumber. And I love the analogy, and I'm getting to it, because uh, basically what he said is, I'm the plumber, so if my boss tells me to put a toilet in the middle of the living room, hey, I'm going to put the toilet in the living room. Don't blame me, I'm just the plumber. I'm doing what someone else told me to do. And in a nutshell, there you have it. I mean, don't blame the developers, people. That's, that's all I'm saying. In some, some cases, the developer comes up with an idea, he'll pitch it, it'll make it in-game, and it's just a bad, bad idea. Or people will have, you know, differing opinions on it, that's a good mechanic or a bad one. In that case, yeah, you can blame the developer, but most of the time, just realize it's someone else pushing this stuff out to us. So, if you want to blame someone, get on the horn with Sony on Online Entertainment, or Blizzard, or Turbine, or Cryptic Studios, and you blame the suits. You tell those marketing gurus, you're screwing up our game. And... Well, you may not actually get anywhere with it, but you'll have the satisfaction in knowing that you are, you know, slamming the people that are really responsible. That dev, he's just like you or me. Well, not me, I don't have a job yet. Um, he's just doing his job. And you can't blame someone for trying to do their job. 